today uh, I've been painting a lot on my uh, tomorrow started painting uh, as you can see I don't know if you can see um, I've been working on what is supposed to be the store the the abundant store the, this thing I worked mostly on the details of the store but I also did I did that a few days ago but I came back on it uh, I also did two things uh, I don't know if you can see let me see if I can move the camera yeah maybe you will see better like that um, there is the bir a bird that I didn't do yet because I made the background behind the bird first it must dry and then I will do the bird and on the other side I made this thing the look at uh, the scones on the wall you see this thing that was at the palace in january 1986 it's me that you can see here and that was the entrance of the palace you know it was like a, a very wide corridor going uh, there like this and i had in my memory these consists because it reminds me it reminded me of the um, the beauty and the beast in the beauty and the beast you you have hands like that which are popping out from the walls and i remember that when i was going to the palace i was seeing these things and i thought about that and i found pictures of the of me in the palace and not only of me um at that period and i was right it's exactly what i was remembering so i wanted to do it on the tomorrow started uh, painting why uh, because as i was saying in previous videos tomorrow started it, the painting is about the song by tok tok of course it's a lot about the lyrics it's also about what i hear in the music but i realized that i was imagining it by the way i was listening to it in the 80s and at that period i was going to the palace so when i was going to the palace i was of course hearing some other musics not only sometimes we had some talk talk in the past but not all the time and um when i was going out of the palace i was going there i would say almost every saturday night sometimes friday's night i was I had friends going there so it was the moment where I could see my friends and we were having fun and I can tell you we have, were having a lot of fun there. When I say a lot of fun I don't mean drugs or alcohol, well we were drinking a little but well, well <laughs> anyway I was going there a lot but every time I was going out of the palace I had my Walkman with me and I was playing Tok Tok on my ears so I totally associate um, the, the, the album It's My Life and the song uh, Tomorrow Started to the Palace. Palace being a famous nightclub in Paris. It remained closed during a very long time but it reopened not a very long time ago and I suppose it's still a nightclub because it used to be a theater a very long time ago so I don't know if they opened it again as a theater or as a nightclub I don't know I've not been there during a very long time but it remained closed during a very long time it was full of people during many years and suddenly I don't know why it was not working anymore anyway i found a lot of pictures of that period that i will show you later but right now i wanted to talk about my painting i actually managed to paint the the whole afternoon which is a first for me because since i've been here i couldn't only steal one hour here and there i never managed to really have one afternoon to paint and I even had to stop because I was invited for dinner by um, a friend of mine. But otherwise, I think that I would have painted the, the whole night too, uh, except for 
filming this video, of course. Anyway, I was a little tired when I stopped. You know, sometimes it's better to stop and start again the next day. If you have any question related to what brushes I'm using, what kind of paint, I mean the brand of the paints that I'm using, what kind of colors, um, what kind of charcoal, I don't know. Any question, you, technical question you have, or not technical actually, you can leave a comment uh, be below or send me a message or whatever, what is the best for you and I will do my best f to answer that. So I worked also a little on the stairs which are not over. It was just to better define the stairs. I'm not sure that you can see. There is a chair. I had to paint over one foot of the chair because the, the foot was not well uh, put. It was not at the right place. So I will do that again. So basically now I will have to continue on the curtains on the dancers and the stairs because they are not done and once i will have done the curtains the dancers and the stairs i will continue on what is at the bottom which is um, the group there they are about the scene in pulp fiction and you have brian ferry in a clip video on the other side here. This painting is very particular to me. I think that's why I have not difficulties to paint on it, but it's not an easy task for me because it's not only related to Tok Tok and to Marcolis and to Tomorrow Started. It is obviously like a goodbye to my past and an opening to the future. I, I, I'm feeling like at a crossroad on that painting and it's not always easy to let it go. I mean, I've let it go since a very long time, but it's really like closing a door. It's like saying stop, goodbye, it's over. The door is closed, we are done, we are moving on and we are going to something else. It's exciting and in the same time it can be very scary. So I know that once this painting will be done, it will be the end, of the, definitely the end of something. And it's going to be tomorrow, which will start for me. I'm just saying that this painting is sometimes, it's like a vortex, you know, it, you, I have to jump in it, to go in it, and I don't know where I will go out on the other side. And uh, I'm not speaking about break on through on the other side of the doors, <laughs> but this painting has something like that, actually. Well, break on through on the other side, it was speaking about death. So I hope that I'm not dying. Um, but I mean, this painting is the end of something and the beginning of something else. It was like that in the lyrics. It's like that in the song. And it's like that in my life, obviously. So as you can see on this picture, the walls are like gray not like they are gray and the sconce is white-ish gray very pale gray almost white i wanted to keep that on my painting because i liked the aspect like very natural i mean this sconce is so strong in the look the look is is very strong and very surprising so the color of the walls and of the scones are more discreet, are more um, muted. And 
I wanted to have something like that, like if it was almost the image in black and white because it's about my past. So I like the idea of grey and pale grey. And I did that on my painting. The problem is that for the first coat I used a grey which was very cold and kind of dull. And once it was dry, I, I didn't like it. So I had to change the, the grey and I did a second coat with a paint grey, which is a grey which according to me is a little warmer and which has a little of blue in it. I don't know, a paint grey for me it's typical of Paris or even London, you know. So I used the paint grey and I think it's going to be better. It's not dry yet. I worked on it this afternoon so it's still wet. But I think it's more the color that I was searching for. And the stairs are going to be very natural too. I was thinking at the beginning doing, you know, a typical red stairs, but no. Actually, the stairs that I'm going to use are these ones, you know, with the, the dress that I, I'm going to do is basically a little like that. And the stairs here are like dark uh, brownish and very natural. And I think I'm going to go with, it, with these kind of stairs because the subject is not the stairs. The subject is tomorrow started and I think that the main topic, the main thing to watch are the dancers and maybe the store at the back. And also what is at the top, the, the Magai. It's possible also that they are a big part of, of, of the painting too. So here I am on my painting. I'm not done yet. It's a painting which is rather long to do. I'm, I'm rather surprised by the length of this painting, of the work to do on it, but there are a lot of details and there are a lot of different images. I already know what I'm going to do next and it's going to be much more fun. It's not going to be a sad painting like that. I was thinking, um, not for my next painting, but I'm thinking of, of eventually doing a painting of the song Inside Looking Out because I have a very strong image about this song. The problem is that it, in my mind it's very sad, very very sad. It's in the same direction as this painting except that I don't see some red because for me tomorrow started is red but in uh, inside looking out everything is gray gray a whole painting in gray that is very strange because before I never painted like that on um, such a shame the portrait was already dark on this I have some gray and some browns on Inside looking out, I plan to do something grey. I don't know. It, it's very funny because when I was painting about Jim Morrison, a person who died, who had a very short life and be, who obviously, according to what I read, was really not a joyful person, I was painting a lot of colours, colours and colours and colours. If you see the paintings that I made before, if you go on my Facebook page art, you will see a lot of my paintings. You will see the colors. It's crazy. And here I'm painting about a man who is alive, Marcolis. I can say he was, he is a joyful person. I mean, he ha there is kind of sensitivity and sadness in him, but a rather funny guy. I mean, he, he has a great sense of humor and I laugh a lot with him. And everything I'm painting about him or around him is dark. So that is really stra strange, really strange. But I'm not going to do inside looking out just after this one because otherwise it's going to be sad and sad. It's going to be too sad. 
I'm going to do something else which will be much more joyful which will be again related to such a shame <laughs> but you will see there will be some surprises so I wanted this time to do only a video about the painting because I think that it deserves one video, a whole video, and it's not done yet. There will be other videos about this painting. So I wanted really to focus only on it, but don't worry, I will uh, go back to uh, my study about, I can call that a study or a quest or a mission, I don't know how to call it, about Marcolis and, and Tok Tok and about the way uh, of Marcolis to work on his music. That really fascinates me and actually it's kind of the fuel of my painting, so it, it goes together, you know. Now I'm going to show you a little more in detail, um, a little closer, what I've been doing today.
as you can see here, I, I drew with the, the charcoal and uh, I'm very glad because I discovered that here, I didn't see, but I, I it, it's written special. I didn't see that before, I didn't realize, so I wrote it here, but of course it will be written in, in white or something like that. Um, I'm very glad because I think this painting is really special, so it's perfect for for that. I, I didn't realize that before and I'm actually very glad. So I'm going to do the details. So why the charcoal? Because it gives me an indication uh, of where is the black, where is the red, where is the white uh, or kind of white you see uh, because when you are with the painting uh, you don't know where to put the colors so with the charcoal it gives me already a draft and then it's easier to build all these details which are not actually obvious to do because there are details but I must not make them too precise because we are supposed to see the store from far so we are not supposed to see all the tiny detail because if you were in front of the store and it, if it would be like that you wouldn't be able to see every detail so you have to do it according to the way the perspective would be if you were just in front of it so okay I'm going to continue And see there are still uh, some details which are missing because the oil paints take a lot of time to dry and we can't work like with acrylic you know uh, going very fast so we have to put what is supposed to be underneath let it dry and then come back with the details so I, I'm not completely done with this piece I 
um, I made a second coat on the brown of the of the ground here. I also change the gray here, as I was saying, and uh, I also made a kind of shadow on the stairs. But it was just to give more definition to the stairs. But it's it's not very well done i mean i did that quickly uh it will be more detail uh, when i will be working actually on the stairs and uh, of course i will have the letters to do better here but that is more kind of a detail we we always start from the layers underneath and then we go up and up with all the different details of course I couldn't do the bird because around it's very dark and it's not dry yet and I don't want to to make the bird dirty with the gray the gray which is around I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you did uh, Please give a thumb up because it's my only way to know if you appreciated this video or not, if you want more like this. And also if you have any question, please feel free to ask. I will do my best to answer and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye bye.